Horace the Lace Monitor was born exactly almost one year ago. He was born in August and he was the last to be born in the clutch. He was bred by Raz's Reptiles on Facebook. I'll post the link below. And I picked this clutch in particular because the parents were very dark. From the moment I brought Forrest home, I knew he was special. Most juvenile lace monitors will hide when they're introduced into their new homes. Us monitor keepers refer to it as empty cage syndrome, where it appears that your lace monitor, or any monitor that you've recently acquired, does not exist because they hide for a long time before they get used to their new surroundings. But not Forrest. Forrest was out and about doing his own thing from the get-go. Because he was so special, I named him after Forrest, Forrest Gump. Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Since Forrest was a naturally calm lizard, I decided to continue his goodwill towards humans by continuing to practice my taming techniques, but I use the term loosely. Lace monitors are not like our domesticated pets. They are in a different class to us humans. They are reptiles, they are not mammals, so they do not think as we do. The technique I use is what many refer to as the let them come to you technique. This is a non-confrontational method where you allow the lizard to settle into its surroundings before you attempt to tame it. Once the lizard has fully settled in and is now thriving, you can now begin the process. The process is basically that you leave the lizard alone. You do not force it to do anything it does not wish to do, such as forced handling or forcing it to have a bath. And instead, you carry on with the usual routine, such as spot cleaning and feeding. You show the lizard that you, the keeper, provides it with many good things, such as shelter, water, and food. In the wild, particularly in Australia, there are many predators that would prey on a baby monitor lizard. Because of this, they will naturally see you as a threat, and your job is to convince them otherwise. Monitors are intelligent lizards and they will remember who mistreated them and who showed them a good time. If you mistreat them enough times, they'll begin to resent your presence. This can manifest in a number of unwanted behaviours such as biting, scratching, defecating on you and tail whipping. I've used this method with great success for my monitor lizards. I also keep heath monitors and they have responded well to these techniques. They are bold, curious, and very well-rounded lizards. Basically, you need to make it seem as though it's the monitor lizard's idea to interact with you. Otherwise, forcing yourself onto them will only negatively impact on your relationship. They will not see as a source of food and entertainment. They'll see as a monster, a big horrible monster that has always subjected them to traumatic situations. Just a disclaimer here, I'm not telling people what to do. I'm just telling people how I do things. People obviously do what they want to do and they all have their own different methods. If you have a different technique, then that's great. But I find this technique works best for me and my lizards. But that's enough on the taming process. This video is supposed to be about Forrest, so let's go back to him. My heath monitors enjoy roaming outside of the enclosures. I'm trying to extend the privilege to Forrest as well. But because he is a lace monitor and is younger, 
he is more tentative of the outside world. Look at his alarmed expression as he basks in the sunlight. As a result of his wariness, he doesn't spend as much time outside as the heath monitors do. With time and repetition, he'll get over his fears. Being a monitor lizard, and a lace monitor lizard at that, Forrest has an excellent feeding response. In these clips where he's almost one year old, it's the middle of winter, so his feeding response is as strong as it can be, believe it or not. Well that's all for now, I'll make a more in-depth video on taming monitor lizards later. I hope you enjoy listening to Forrest's story. And in regard to some of these clips where the monitor lizards are displaying alarmed, upset, defensive behaviour, I want to make it clear that I do not bear these channels any ill will. In no way am I condemning them. In fact, I actually enjoy watching some of them. But I do not have clips of my lizards displaying these behaviours, so I had to look elsewhere. I'm just displaying these clips as a means of education.